Greetings, two percenters. So we're gonna do a rather rare tool review. I know I said I wouldn't do any more of those. I hate tool reviews, but we're gonna make an exception this time for two reasons. First of all, because this isn't like reviewing a wrench or a socket driver or something like that. This is an electrical testing tool that you would need to have some knowledge of voltage drop in order to get the most use of it. And I will put a link to my voltage drop video in the description. If you are not familiar with voltage drop, this tool will not be very useful to you. But the other thing is that this is actually probably the single most often referenced tool in the comments section. Very often I've heard, you should get a Load Pro, or can you do a review of the Load Pro? I hear the name Daniel Sullivan, the inventor of the tool, quite a bit in the comment section. So basically to settle my own curiosity, I went ahead and forked up about 70 bucks to Amazon to get this Load Pro, and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it. I've actually played around with it a little bit, and I will tell you, I actually do really like it. I think it's certainly worth 70 bucks. So what I've done is I've set up a little bit of an application here where we can test this instrument and it'll help you to totally understand the advantage of having the load pro leads as opposed to your usual multimeter leads. So what we're gonna do for this example is I've set up one of the most simple applications you could possibly have as a do-it-yourselfer. Headlight won't turn on. Let's go ahead and turn on the lights, see what happens. So I've turned on the lights, we can see the parking light turns on, but we do not get the headlight turning on. So obviously most of your hacks are just gonna go ahead and replace a headlight bulb. Of course, the guys on my channel don't do that. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna verify that we've got 12 volts at the socket. So I'm just gonna go ahead and unplug this socket here and let's go ahead and look for voltage. All right, pretty much no brainer here. We're gonna go ahead, test at this socket here. We can see we've got our 12 volts pretty clearly right there. So obviously we would come to the conclusion this bulb must be bad. Most everybody is going to change this bulb at this point except for a very few people who are going to make the assumption it's still possible we might have a voltage drop. Since we have to remove the bulb anyway, if we're gonna replace it, let's pop that bulb out, just to make sure if that bulb is good or not. So before we go to the parts store, we look and it is a little concerning that it does appear the filament is intact. Let's go ahead and just set the voltmeter to a continuity test here, just to be sure. Check it out. That bulb is good. So that's a little bit of a problem. We've got 12 volts at the connector. We have a good bulb. So what could possibly be the problem? Well, of course, if you understand voltage drop, this would be your diagnosis. We've got voltage drop on this circuit. So in my video on diagnosis and understanding of voltage drop, I go through all the kinds of methods you can use to confirm there's voltage drop and find where it is on the circuit. And we're not gonna go ahead and review that since most of you guys are probably familiar if you're watching this video, but none of those methods are gonna be as simple as what I'm gonna show you using the Load Pro. So let me go ahead and get this light bulb back in because guess what, we don't even have to back probe the light bulb to put a load onto the circuit to do this test. The Load Pro will find the resistance by putting its own load on the circuit for us. Let me show you how it works. So all I'm gonna do is remove my usual DVOM leads that I've been using for the last five years and in every video that you've seen, and I'm probably gonna actually throw these away. And I'm just gonna go ahead and connect up my leads for the Load Pro. So all I'm gonna do is just go ahead and do my voltage test just like I did before using my Load Pro leads. We can see that we still get 12 volts as before, so nothing different here. Now here's the difference. When I push this button, we're gonna put a small load through the circuit, and of course, when it meets the resistance, we're going to see a voltage drop here if we have a voltage drop problem. So let's press that button and check it out we have almost eight volts of voltage drop in this system. And how easy was that? This is just a regular voltage test that you would just do anyway, but all you have to do is just push this button. We never had to remove the light bulb. We don't have to do any back probing. We don't have to do any further testing. The reason that this light won't light is because of voltage drop, just from a simple voltage test like that. Now, this gets even better because we're going to very simply be able to isolate whether this voltage drop was from the ground side or the power feed side. So to do that, all I'm gonna do is just take my negative lead and I'm just gonna put it to a chassis ground. Okay, so with my lead on a chassis ground, we see that we're back to reading 12 volts again. So let's go ahead and use the Load Pro to deliver load to the circuit. 
and we get the same voltage drop as before. So what does that tell us? Now think about it. We were on a known good chassis ground and we got the same exact voltage drop feeding through the power side of the circuit. There is no other explanation. All of the voltage drop must be on the power side of the circuit. We know this for an absolute fact. So we would just simply have to hunt down and confirm that we find the source of resistance on the power side of this circuit. So by just tracing back to find the source of voltage drop on the circuit, well, there's your problem. We got a resistor right there in the circuit. Let me go ahead and remove that and let's put the fuse right back in place. All right, let's go ahead and see if we've got a fix now. So we're gonna go ahead, do our voltage drop as before. We know we're gonna see 12 volts again, but is our voltage drop gone? So what we're gonna do is take our reading. We've got our 12 volts. Let's go ahead and push our button this time and we see that we only drop just a few hundredths of a volt. So we can see that our voltage drop problem is definitely fixed. If we just plug this light bulb back in, it is going to work. And there it is. Well, obviously you can see the value of the Load Pro tool just from that basic example there, but think about it in other applications. For example, think back of videos I've done where I'm back probing a fuel pump or something like that. Really, really difficult application. How much easier to just do the regular voltage drop test at that connector than struggle with back probing in inconvenient locations, also risking shorting to ground, things like that. Just in applications like that alone, the tool would more than pay for itself as far as I'm concerned. But the nicest thing about it is that it's just a regular set of DVOM leads that if I ever need to do the voltage drop, and actually why wouldn't you, just take your voltage reading like you always would, push the button, rule out if voltage drop is a factor in the circuit. Why not just do that? So that's kind of my philosophy on it. As far as anything I don't like about the tool, I guess for most of you guys, and it was for me, the elephant in the room is the bulkiness of the positive lead. And what I do is just normally use these extended like this that I've got a lot of. You can also buy them actually optionally with the probe itself and that helps with that. And to be honest with you, that's not even really an issue. Certainly not something that would be a deal breaker for the tool. It's far more cumbersome to have to back probe with the load in place. For example, at, at, with a fuel pump, you've seen me struggle with that in several videos actually. This tool, it just makes that worth it right in its own. And I guess another advantage is if you're really bad at math, you don't have to do the thing where you would take your measurement with the load applied at the load, subtract it from your source voltage. None of that applies with this because you just measure everything right there at the connector at the load. So that's pretty much my review on the tool. As far as I'm concerned, this is going to be my new set of voltage leads. Why wouldn't it be? But I think for just the sake of not looking like I'm over commercializing the product or something, I'll use my old leads in videos and everything. But uh, do know in real life, anytime I pull out my DVOM, this is the lead set that's going to be on it. So uh, go ahead and check out the Load Pro. There's plenty of other videos out there on it, including Daniel Sullivan's own videos. But I personally find this to be well worth the money. So go ahead and check it out. And I hope you found this helpful. We'll see you next time.